Hey guys, hope everyone's staying safe. In a lot of the lawyer and uh, professional Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, masterminds that I'm a part of, everyone's scrambling to set themselves up so they can work virtually. And there's some right and wrong ways to do that. I thought I'd take a moment during today's run it's a Tuesday morning here in California, you guys, beautiful day, to at least share with you what works for us, what works for friends of mine. And I think one thing we can all agree on is this is a big eye-opener, right? Consumers have heightened expectations as to what you can do for them, especially when we have something like the coronavirus, or whatever else is next on the list. And it's important that we be ready. Good morning. Good morning. It's important that we be ready for what's happening now, for what happens next, not only next month, but next year and 10 years, and take the steps today, take the steps this week, this month. You probably have a little free time. You probably have time to Focus on some new things. This is when you want to fix everything. Actually, you want to fix everything 10 years ago. But there's no better time than the present to get started, right? So, by the way, those are the first three people I've seen on my run this morning. I think I've been doing a good, a good job at social distancing. Nobody's out, keeping, keeping our space. But I don't know about you guys, I gotta, I gotta exercise each day or you know, I just feel like shit. So here's the thing, you guys. About 10 years ago, we took the steps to create a cloud-based digital mobile virtual environment where we have our traditional physical office space. We're lawyers. This, this applies to anybody. But we can also run the firm really from anywhere with anyone using some of the third-party resources I wanna share with you guys. So hopefully you'll find some of this information useful. Why don't we start off with embracing the cloud, you guys. Everything we do, we can access in our office, from our homes, from our phones, from our tablets, from our laptops, and it just works. One of the expectations that clients have in today's world, especially after this month, and it's uh, March of 2020, is they wanna know that you've got their best interests in mind, you're taking care of their files, their cases, their cases, whatever it might be, and they wanna know you're on top of things. They wanna know you care about them. You gotta create an exemplary client experience but I think using these tools will allow you to do all that. So the first thing we do is we're using Clio. And Clio is a cloud-based case management program, you guys, that allows our clients 24 seven access to their important case files, to their calendars, private communications with the assigned attorney or anyone else in the firm, the exchange of information during a period of time of the day that works for the client. It gives them access. It takes so much pressure off of everything we do because they can access their case files. Good morning. Good morning. And one of the things I like about Clio, and I've used some of the other case management programs, and, and there's some really good ones out there. With respect to Clio, I like the fact that I think it's like a 500 employee company. They're all, they've all made the move because of their software, their, their support system to work uh, out of the office. And it just works. It just works for everyone at the firm. It works for our clients. It allows us to continue to really just have almost unlimited access and the exchange of information with our clients 24 seven, especially during business hours that I think they, I know they appreciate. A um, Couple other things about Clio is that 
it integrates with a lot of popular third-party services out there whether it's accounting and billing and a lot of other bells and whistles the program offers but i gotta tell you guys when case management programs first rolled out it was probably i'm gonna say like 20 25 years you know what it was almost 30 years ago there's a program called sidekick it had nothing to do with the law but it was a program you download using floppies onto your laptop and it allows you to take care of your clients, your customers. It allows you to track your time. It wasn't cloud-based, but I remember diving all in on that program because I could see the difference it would make with servicing our clients, with being more efficient. And in business, when you're more efficient, it allows you to increase your end of year bottom, bottom line profits, right? So anyway, fast forward to today, if you do, this is a great time to get up to speed with a cloud-based customer relationship management tool for the legal profession we're using Clio. Um, Nimble's another outstanding option for the non-lawyers out there. A friend of mine, John Ferrara, is the man behind Nimble. It's pretty cool because it allows you to put in my name or highlight using your mouse a website and using google chrome extensions bringing in all of that person's contact information all of their social media activity into the database that's pretty cool right we actually use it when we're picking juries in trial it allows me to get a good snapshot of who's sitting in the box and who might be one of my potential jurors so you might want to look at nimble also and there's some other good programs out there next Think about not keeping everything on your server at the office. Use cloud-based drives to store your information, to share information. Uh, Dropbox. Google Drive, for example. Box. All of these services allow you to share, store, and access information really anywhere using almost any type of device and once again you don't need to physically be in the office to access your templates to access your case files you're either accessing them in Clio like we talked about earlier or if you're not a lawyer or you want to set up a third-party storage system then set up a Dropbox set up Google Drive Spend some time over the next month merging everything into these, into these resources and then give access, sometimes limited access to your clients, to your employees, to your team members. But it allows you to be able to access all your important documents without having to be in the office. Email's huge, text messaging is huge, but that personal eyeball to eyeball relationship it's just it just doesn't happen right it's great for confirming a a court date but not so much for building that relationship that you want to build what i found you guys is bomb bomb b-o-m-b b-o-m-b is a an email video service where it allows you within your email program to click a button record a video that's then embedded within the email you can personalize it send it out and the recipient your client clicks on the bomb bomb email and within the email is your video it's awesome the client doesn't have to click out to a third-party resource it's fast it's easy you can create bomb bombs on your laptop desktop uh, from your phone you can receive bomb bombs on all those devices and your clients can click a link without even having a bomb bomb account and record a video back to you it's kind of fun it's unique it's a great way for you and your clients to look each other in the digital eyeballs and it's something that i think more law firms more professionals should use so listen i'm about three miles in on my run so excuse me if i'm a little bit out of breath but it's a slow pace, so it's no big deal. 
All right, next. One of my secret weapons, you guys, is Zoom. Z-O-O-M. Zoom.us. Let me change hands. So Zoom is a video conference. A lot of you know about Zoom, but you're not using it. And it allows you to have private one-on-one -on -one -on -one meetings with your clients. It allows you to pop in, shoot a client a link, they click in, have a quick conversation or an extended conversation, or you can have conferences, you can have company webinars, you can literally expand the audience in your Zoom video from one to 100 or even more. We use Zoom every single day. And just between us, it's been a great time saver when we have a client who may not be a client we'll be representing in litigation. I don't need to sit down and meet with that client, evaluate the client, see if it's someone I want to represent, see how he or she will come across in front of a jury, which is something I always do with my litigation cases. It's critical, it's what's helped me win a lot of cases. But when it comes down to answering questions, filling out documents, instead of having office appointments, especially now, right? You set up a Zoom. You offer this in your initial phone consultation. You offer this in an email response to a potential new client. Let's hop on Zoom, I'll send you a link. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, it's super simple. It's kind of fun. And have that initial interaction on a live video. The more you use Zoom, the better you'll get at it. And you can literally have a conversation like you're sitting across your desk from someone, whether they're across the street, across town, or even on the other side of the world. It's such a powerful communication tool, you guys, that you can really tap into and learn how to use right now to position yourself for the future. Our telephones, are probably one of the most valuable assets in the law firm. Yes, we communicate with clients through email, text, on social media, private messages, through, through Clio in our private message portal. We do all that. But there's something about the phones that allow you to listen to each other's tone, expressions, inflections in our, in our voices, Whatever it might be. That dude's running fast. That guy's kicking it. He's either late for an appointment or he's a heck of a lot more serious than I am. And uh, what we do, and by the way, some of the companies I'm recommending, I'm a brand ambassador for. If you go to streaming lawyer, streaming.lawyer forward slash brands, you can find links to some of these companies. But what I was going to say is with Ruby Receptionist, also known as Call Ruby. We know our phones are being answered during the day, voice messages after hours, which is fine. But during the day, our phones are answered by professional receptionists. Frankly, they're outstanding. I mean, they're really good. And whether we're in the office or not. So if I'm out here on a run, if like this week and over the next couple of weeks, we're practicing social separation, we're all working out of our homes and our satellite offices, and me on my runs down at the harbor, we know our phones are being handled in a professional fashion during business hours and frankly after business hours. And the way it works you guys is somebody calls in, most of the incoming callers, I think are under the impression they're probably talking to somebody sitting at a front office, which they can be doing during normal business hours, but either we'll have the phone set up for overflow to go directly to Ruby, or after X amount of rings, our calls get forwarded to Ruby. And in any case, all of the calls are answered, I'd say within two or three rings by a professional. If we're available, Depending on the instructions we've given Ruby, they then say, you know, one moment, I'll see if Mr. Jackson's available. And then regardless of where I am, whether I'm at my desk, I'm out here on a run, 
down at the harbor paddle boarding, I'm in court, I get either a phone call, a text message, an email from Ruby Receptionist, which is set up off site, which is set up to continue handling incoming phone calls regardless of what we're doing. And it's super powerful. It's super powerful. Everything I just described to you guys works just as well when we're in the office as when we're out of the office. And that's why it's so critically important with what's going on in today's world to pivot big time, if you haven't already done so, to set yourself up to take advantage of these cloud-based services, okay? Our website is handled by Scorpion and they do a fantastic job. Nothing is hosted at our law firm. The site's not on our server, everything's cloud-based. Every update, every new blog post, every change, it's really just an email away. And it's been almost uh, instant service with respect to, hey, can we update this blog post? Can we change the language here? So for the firm, they have been outstanding with, with understanding what it is we're trying to achieve and then setting up and running the website 24 seven. Once again, our office could disappear tomorrow physically and our website is going to be handled no problem. Um, social media. You guys know that in my Legal Minds Mastermind, one of the things I did years ago is build my brand around social media. Best thing I've ever done. The reason it's important is that regardless of everything else we've talked about, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, TikTok's huge, you guys. TikTok, YouTube, and everything in between allows you to communicate with the client 24 seven. It allows you, sorry about the noise, you guys. It allows you to touch base with the clients, with your audience. Thank you. Say hi. There's my man right there. And uh, it allows you to touch base with your clients, right? It allows you to um, let them know that everything's okay. It allows you to reach out like I did this week. Yesterday I created a video for Twitter, for LinkedIn, for Facebook, for Instagram, just letting my audience know if they have any legal questions, any legal business questions relating to the coronavirus, just reach out to me and I'll answer the questions for free. I just want to be there for the community. I'm not expecting any business to come out of that effort. But once again, social media will allow you to stay in touch, to build trust, to be that leader in the community. And uh, I'm gonna come back to you guys in a second. All right, it's a little more quiet. So social distancing, I mean, what better tool than social media? It allows you to stay in touch. It allows you to answer questions. It allows you to reassure your audience, your clients, your prospective clients, your referral sources, that you've got your shit together, that you are moving forward with their best interest in mind, that you're smart enough to understand there's a new way of communicating, a new way of helping, a new way of being there for people, social media. And so you're embracing these platforms that once again, have nothing to do with your physical office being open. Okay, so I think if you guys focus on using these tools, if you guys focus on taking advantage right now of incorporating easy to use, easy to use 
technology that you and your team, your employees, your different offices can all, can all learn. Tools that work, tools that are established, tools that are super easy for your clients to use. Look, if your clients don't use these tools, then they're worthless. Everything we're talking about is premised around the user experience that's your client and your ability and your team's ability and desire to use these products. All of these things have nothing to do with physically being in your office and they have everything to do, good morning, and they have everything to do with taking care of business, respecting the social space that your clients want right now, while at the same time delivering your products and your services, in the case of the lawyers out there, your legal services, in a way where your clients know the last thing they need to worry about is their case being handled. And by the way, before I wrap up, you guys need to message to your clients using these tools that everything's gonna be okay. They need to understand what happens when a court unilaterally shuts down or discontinues hearings or limits hearings. They need to understand what extensions and continuances are. Lawyers, you guys are taking it for granted that, lawyer, that, that clients understand these concepts. They need to understand that something bad's not gonna happen to them because of COVID-19. We as lawyers can bring motions to continue cases, continue trials. We can do our, let them know about how interest works at the legal rate, which will be added on to any settlements or judgments in your future settlement negotiations. As a matter of fact, if you approach it the right way, their rate of return from a settlement being pushed out six months because of this situation, no mediations, no arbitrators, uh, no trials, that the legal interest on their judgment, on the resolution, you can try to negotiate that legal interest in California, it's 10% into any settlement negotiations. It's a hell of a lot more than what that money would have been doing these last two weeks in the market, right? So sometimes it's just a matter of perspective on the information that you do share with your clients and don't assume or take for granted that they know we, and when I say we, lawyers, the court system, that we know that their best interest isn't just going to evaporate because of the coronavirus. In other words, there, there are things that we're all putting into place to help protect consumers' legal rights. Emergency hearings are still taking place. A lot of them are being rolled over to video. These are all things that I think your clients would be interested in hearing. So hopefully I've shared a couple of tools, a couple of resources, a couple of thoughts, maybe a mindset that you guys can implement in the next couple of weeks. If anything else, maybe a different way of approaching your clients and letting them know everything's gonna be okay based upon some of the things we talked about. I'm telling you guys, most clients aren't aware of continuances, extensions, unilateral court delays. It does not compromise their case. And so I think it's really important that you share that with them. So, where I am in my run is the first mile and a half uphill. While I've been videotaping, it's been a slight downhill. Once I come out of this tunnel, it's back uphill and then down to the beach. And this particular loop this morning is gonna be about a 9.9 .9 mile loop. I'm, I'm kicking it pretty slow. That takes me back up to the house also but we're gonna do the long run. Let me show you the hill before I uh, sign off. And let me know, just reach out to me privately if you have any questions. Reach out to me in the comments wherever you're watching this video. I'm not sure where I'm gonna post it. As to additional tools, additional resources. Check this out. Where 
you know, what, what will you be putting into action? What steps are you going to be taking? Did I give you any new ideas? Do you have any better ideas? And let's be there for each other. Let's share solutions. Let's answer questions, which is super important as a lawyer right now. Let's be leaders. Let's not use this opportunity as an opportunity to take advantage of anybody. If anything, lean the other direction. We're here to help. Your money is no good right now, but what we would like to do is help you sleep better at night. That's the message I'm trying to send. And I think it's working, which is why I wanted to hop on this video today. All right, as you can tell, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna shut down, pick up the pace, and try to make the rest of my day a masterpiece. I hope you do the same. Take care, guys and gals. Bye-bye. Okay, as promised, a little bonus clip here. I think this might be one of the most important <clears throat> concepts that I want to share with you during today's uh, GoPro. I'm shooting this on a Hero 7, by the way. It's pretty amazing how smooth it is, right? So here's the beach. This is Salt Creek. Rich Carlton's up there. It's a gorgeous area, one of my favorite beaches. Strands is my favorite, right on the other side of that point. But think in today's world, think like a consultant, especially for those of you that are in the, the service industry, the lawyers, the doctors, the dentists, the CPAs. The, I provide X and I get paid Y. That time for money formula is something we moved away from about 20 years ago. And what allowed me to do that were some of the concepts that crystallized in my mind when I read the book, Million Dollar Consulting by Alan Weiss. That's Million Dollar Consulting by Alan Weiss. Now I read one of the early editions decades ago. I think it's out now in its fifth edition. Get it. It's, it will help you develop a frame of mind, a certain mindset when it comes to offering your services it's not dependent on if I put in an hour of time, then I get paid an hour for my time. Business models that are set up like that right now, are in, they're struggling, they're in trouble right now because of the coronavirus. And this is a good opportunity to learn this new mindset. This is a great opportunity to figure out a hybrid business model to start thinking like a consultant and it has it has saved our asses more than once you guys uh, whether it's the 2008 real estate market whether it's the 1999 stock market that crashed after a decade of tech stocks going up dollars in value each day which is awesome, by the way. But it's a mindset that I think in today's world will help you develop your businesses, your practices, and your careers so that you are more bulletproof the next time something like this happens. Get Million Dollar Consulting and uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, really dive into it deep, take notes, and then put Alan's consulting ideas to work for you. Check this out. These guys are, I don't know if this is social distance, distancing or not, but it looks like they're having fun surfing. Right? All right. So it's a couple of miles back up to the house. I'm gonna call it a day. If you guys have any questions on anything I've talked about, uh, just reach out to me. Probably best to go through streaming.lawyer or direct message me privately on the platform that you're watching. And uh, I want you guys to know, Lisa and I are both always here for you. Take care, bye.